In this video, I'm going to show you a self-publishing Amazon KDP niche that's easy to create. It's making good sales with one of the best sellers, making around $1,400 a month. It's perfect for beginners and seasoned pros alike. It's a niche that I'm actually in and having success with myself. And there are so many sub-niches with low competition on Amazon that there's huge opportunities here. Now, if you've not been to this channel before, then welcome. My name's Paul Miles, and I do videos on how to make it, keep it, and grow it. And that's your money I'm talking about. And if you do like videos like that, then please do give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and smash that notification bell to receive notification of when I produce more videos like this. So, what is this niche? Well, it's the graph paper notebook niche, which sounds very basic and simple, but if you hang on and, and watch the rest of the video, you'll find out that there's some very interesting features about it, which I think you'll like. Now, if we go over to Google Trends, we can see that overall, the trend has slowly been increasing. And if we look at these peaks here, they correspond to around end of July, August each year, which corresponds to the start of things like school, college and universities. So there's good demand with those uh, seasonal uh, extra demands, if you like. So if you were to get in on this niche now, you'd have a good few months to get your books on Amazon, uh, get them indexed by Amazon and be ready for when that actual um, increase in sales starts to occur. But all year round, um, sales are pretty good and I can attest to that because as I said, I'm in one of these niches uh, myself and sales all year round are pretty good. Now, if we go over to Amazon and have a look, if we just put in general graph paper notebook and have a look at some of the books, we can see that they are selling very well by looking at the best sellers ranks. We've got this one here with around 11,000, got this one here with 91,000, this one here, 200,000, and again, if we just keep going down, we've got this one here, 28,000. What I normally look for when I'm evaluating a niche are three or more books with bestsellers ranks of less than 300,000, which means that there are sales being made in this particular niche. And if we go over to this one that's selling particularly well, with a bestsellers rank of 11,348, put it into the tckpublishing.com book sales calculator, we can see that it's selling between around about 330, 350 to 700 a month, which equates to around about $1,400 a month if we take that higher figure. Now, when I put my bestsellers rank figures into this book calculator, it's always a higher figure that tends to come out um, in terms of the number of sales. So that book there that's selling well is probably making around that figure that I've mentioned. Now, when I did my keyword research, for this particular niche, which we'll discuss a little bit later in this video, I found many sub-niches such as isometric graph paper, bead and seed notebooks, Dungeons and Dragons graph paper, and even circular graph paper, which is a new one on me. In fact, there were so many interesting niches I'd never heard of, and there were really, um, really good opportunities here. In fact, some of these I'm going to pursue myself. So we'll take a look at some of the features and benefits of this niche, then look at the interiors, where you can find them, and I've got something special for you if you do stick around to that, and then the all-important keywords, which are essential for getting your book seen and found on Amazon by customers and making those all-important sales and building that online income. Now, the benefits of this niche, well, the interiors are very simple. Uh, which means it's great for beginners if you're just starting out, and also uh, a good alternative to the blank lined notebooks. Now, these books can be created across many different sorts of niches, and you can change the cover designs quite easily by creating patterned covers, different colored covers, um, have themes like pets or, or kids type themes, and the search results for uh, books in this niche are relatively low particularly if you find those um, low uh, competition keywords. And therefore, with the low competition, you've got more chance of getting your book ranked, more chance of getting your book seen, and therefore more chance of making a sale. Now, the interiors for these books can be found for free 
or cost very little, and you can even create these yourself. But don't worry, as I've just mentioned, I've got something to share with you in a moment, which I think you'll like. And also, the demand for these books, as I've just mentioned earlier, is pretty much constant with that um, seasonal peak around August time. So there's a good chance of making all, um, all year round sales with these books. Now, in terms of the interiors, you can find these for free on BookBolt. As you can see here in the free section, they've got these graph paper uh, interiors here. You can also go over to Creative Fabrica and just put in something like graph paper, KDP interior, and you've got lots and lots to choose from here. However, what I've done for you is created an interior, just a basic four by four, uh, 0.25 inch square graph paper that you can use yourself for free. And I've uploaded it to my Gumroad shop. And I say it's absolutely free. You just go along there, um, put in your, or name your fair price. So you can put zero in there and download um, this interior. And I've uploaded it as a 120 page uh, PDF interior, which is ready to upload straight into the KDP platform. There's also the .png and .svg version. So these are actually editable as well in a vector editing software. Now, if you want more specialist interiors like the ones I've mentioned, the isometric graph book, the circular graph book, the the, the graph paper for beading, for uh, role-playing games, Dungeons and Dragons, then you can also find those quite easily on Creative Fabrica. So that's all set up for you, ready to go with the basic interior, so you can start creating those pretty much straight away. Now, in terms of the keywords, now these are vital, um, and it's one of the things a lot of people do find difficulty with because the keywords are important and it's important where you place those keywords in terms of in the titles, the subtitles and the seven keyword boxes. Now I have done a video on how I do my keyword, keyword research in detail and I'll leave that in a link below in the description. I've also done a video on how I use my keywords to get maximum effect again, which I'll leave a link to in the video. Now, the idea is to find keywords with low search numbers that people are entering into the Amazon search bar. And what I look for are search results of less than 1,000 on Amazon, which means there's a good chance of getting your book ranked and seen on Amazon because the, the competition isn't that great. Now, this is what I found from my experience, okay? Now, if the search results are more than 1,000, then I often consider these keywords if I'm going to be running ads on a book. So if we go over to Amazon, and I'll show you what I do. Here I put in graph paper notebook. Now if I just delete that last letter, we can see here that Amazon gives us these suggestions of keywords. And these are useful because these are keywords that people are actually entering into the, the search bar on Amazon. And they're also keywords that Amazon gives customers as a choice of keywords. So customers tend to tick on, uh, click on these keywords. So they're very useful. And what I do is I create a, a spreadsheet and I make a list of all these different keywords. Now I've also got uh, another plugin installed called AMZ Suggestion Expander which gives us also these keywords here, which are also being searched for on Amazon, and those will also go into the spreadsheet. Now, when I enter the keyword, what I'm looking for is these number of search results here in the top left corner. Here it says 2000, which is actually is not too bad for this sort of basic root keyword. And also, if you see here, it tells us, it gives us this volume figure, which is 8,100 per month, and that's the Google search numbers per month. Now, not every keyword has a Google search number listed, but if it does appear for a particular keyword, that also goes into a spreadsheet. So what I end up with is a spreadsheet with three columns, the keyword, the Amazon search result, and the Google monthly searches. And as you put in more keywords, you'll find more keywords, and those will go into the, the spreadsheet. And what happens is you can end up with quite a huge number of keywords. Now, I've actually done this for you, and I came up with 307 keywords, which you can imagine putting each one of those into the search bar, looking at the search numbers, uh, looking at the Google search numbers, 
can take quite a bit of time. And in fact, when I did this, it took about six hours to get all the keywords. So in order to save you time doing that, I've also uploaded this list of keywords. As I've said, there's about 307 there and I've uploaded it to my Gumroad shop and I put a sale price on it of $1, which I think, you know, if you value your time and uh, you know, $1 worth six hours of your time, then it's you know, pretty much a bargain. However, if you don't have the money um, to buy it, then that's fine. What you can do is follow the instructions in my keyword video on how I do keyword research, and you can build up uh, a similar list of keywords yourself for free. And actually, it's quite a good exercise to go through that process because you also learn about the niche as well. But as a shortcut, it's there on my Gumroad shop and that's available as a, a .csv file, .pdf and an Excel file. So with the keywords and the interior that I've supplied you, you're really you know, ready to go and just need to think up some creative cover designs that stand out. Look at Amazon for inspiration but I wouldn't advise you know, copying the, the covers. A lot of mine get copied. They appear in the search results for a couple of weeks and then always disappear because they just don't get traction. And when you think about it, why would they? When Amazon is more likely to push the similar designs that are actually selling more and have sales history than those copies that have been uploaded to the platform. Now, as I mentioned earlier, keywords are important and are really vital for getting your books found. So if you want to know how I do my keyword research to get books ranked to make sales, then click this video here or click this one here if you want to know where I place those keywords for maximum effect. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much for your time. It's very much appreciated. And until next time, goodbye.